The case of a little girl just two years old and infected with HIV. Her doctors have declared that she is free of the virus. In short, this little girl is cured. Our Elizabeth Cohen is here, our senior medical correspondent. Elizabeth, I mean, this is pretty shocking to me. How big of a breakthrough is this? You know, potentially this is a big breakthrough because for what it could mean for other babies. So before I talk about that, I want to talk about this baby because it's really an incredible story. Mm. So this baby was born in Mississippi to a mom who was HIV positive. And she then went on drugs for about 15 months. So the baby was on drugs for 15 months and then she got lost, basically. The doctors never saw her. The mother didn't bring her in. It turns out the mother stopped giving her the drugs. The baby was off the drugs. Are you kidding me? She just, yes, not the most responsible mom in the word, world. Baby was off the drugs for eight to ten months. Then social services knocked on the mom's door, said, get back to the doctor. The mom went back to the doctor, and the baby had no signs of HIV. That's incredible. And she'd been off drugs for eight to ten so months. So what does that say to you? So what, this, so what this says, possibly, is that maybe other babies can do this. Mm -hmm. It's possible that other babies could do this. Now, this baby got drugs very quickly in the second day of life. Mm -hmm. She got three drugs at very high doses. Usually it's one or two drugs at lower doses at that point in time. So it may be that these babies need to get drugs very quickly. It may be they need to get three of them. It may be they need to be at high doses. And here, I want to tell you something that Johns Hopkins said, because they then got involved in this. They said this may help pave the way to eliminating HIV infection right, in children. So I mean, talk that's about that. huge. That, that, that's right. enormous, because as right. you say, 350,000 babies are born each year with HIV. Mm -hmm. So what does this potentially mean for them? This this it is good news, right? It, it is good news. Now, they're not going to start taking babies off their HIV meds. They're not going to do that at all. But what they w will likely do, what they are going to do, is start studying it. They're going to study it and see, gee, maybe can we take other babies off of their drugs? Because these babies, Alina, when they're born HIV positive, mm -hmm. they're on drugs for life. Right. These drugs are hard to take. These wow. drugs can be very toxic, especially mm. to the liver. Mm. It would be great if oh, babies only sure. had to stay in them for sure. a year. So that's their next step. Fewer and meds are always better. Fewer right? meds are always better, especially <laughs> right. these medications, right? right? So they're going to see now, can we take other babies off their medications at one year? They need to study that before they actually start taking children yeah, off their medication. What, what a remarkable breakthrough. Would, I mean, pretty And because amazing. of a mother's goof right. is what's really amazing. Yeah. It's not because of some new technology in medicine or mm -hmm. whatever. It's because a mm -hmm. mom goofed, but they learned from her goof. Well, it's great for that mm -hmm. baby and it hopefully is. great for many other babies. All right, we Elizabeth so. Cohen, thanks so much. Thanks. Great to see you as always.